Hello, this is Janavi G. Bhatt. This presentation is about colorimetry, its application and instrumentation. Colorimetry is a technique used to determine the concentration of colored compounds in solutions. It is just limited to visible spectrum. Colorimetry is almost similar to another technique called as spectrophotometry. This technique is a tool that deals with quantitative analysis of molecules depending on the amount of light absorbed by colored compounds. But the difference between colorimetry and spectrophotometry is that the latter includes wide range of spectra. The property of colorimetric analysis is to determine the concentration of the compounds in the colored solution. The principle of colorimetry depends on Beer Lambert's law. Absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of the compound being measured and optical path length. The difference in color intensities result in the difference in the absorption of light. There are different types of devices in colorimetry like a colorimeter that measures the absorbance of particular wavelength of light by a specific colored solution and then we have a densitometer which measures the degree of light passing through or reflected by a surface subject. We also have a spectrophotometer which measures the amount of light absorbed by a sample. Then there is spectrocolorimeter that can calculate tri-stimulus values. And at last we have color temperature meter that measures the color temperature of an incident illuminant. Now we shall see the essential parts of a colorimeter. There is a light source, mainly LED source and a set of colored filters, a cuvette to hold the working solution an adjustable aperture, a detector to measure the transmitted light, a meter to display the output from detector. First, the colorimeter is calibrated using a standard solution of known concentration. Then, a light ray of certain wavelength is directed towards a given unknown solution. The light passes through a series of different lenses and filters. The filter allows only required wavelength of light to pass through and reach the cuvette where it is transmitted, reflected and absorbed by the solution. The transmitted light falls on the detector and the output display meter shows the output from the device. The working principle as we all know is Beer Lambert's law which states that when a beam of monochromatic light is passed through a solution of an absorbing substance, the rate of decrease in intensity of radiation with thickness of the absorbing solution is proportional to incident radiation as well as the concentration of the solution. In other words, absorbance is directly proportional to optical path length and concentration of the colored solution. The expression is as given. A is equal to epsilon C L where A is absorbance, I naught is intensity of light incident upon the sample cell, I is the intensity of light living sample cell, C molar concentration of the solute where L is the length of sample cell and epsilon is molar absorptivity. Here we also talk about the two types of spectrophotometer single beam and double beam. The single beam spectrophotometer can be used to measure the absorbance of ultraviolet or visible light by a sample. It can utilize a fixed wavelength light source or a continuous source. It is similar to colorimeter. The simplest instruments use a single wavelength light source such as a light emitting diode, a sample container and a diode detector. Instruments with a continuous source have a dispersing element and aperture or slit to select a single wavelength before the light passes through the sample cell. Whereas double beam UV spectrophotometer compares the light intensities between two light paths, one containing the reference sample and the other the test sample. The double beam approach requires two beams of light 
both having same intensities to measure the absorbance through sample and reference positions simultaneously. The sample position is used for measurement of the analyte whereas the reference position is used for the correction against a blank solution or sample matrix. Now the advantages of colorimeter is that it improves the measurement stability and drift precision which is a result of real-time feedback of both reference and sample signals. The disadvantages are that it is expensive and has low sensitivity and reliability. There are widespread applications of colorimetry in every field. It is used in detection of concentration of substances, in detection of impurities, in monitoring dissolved oxygen content in fresh water and marine ecosystems, in characterization of proteins, in detection of functional groups, in respiratory gas analysis in hospitals, in molecular weight determination of compounds, in determination of concentrations of plant nutrients such as phosphorus, nitrate and ammonia in the soil or hemoglobin in the blood and so on many more applications can be found. This completes this presentation. Thank you for watching.